Crown Lands opened up. Yay! <laughs> little guy hiding in his shell. Yeah, you help him cross the road so he didn't get hit. A safe turtle now. Bye. Bye buddy. If you watched our last river crossing, you know we absolutely failed. If you think we're gonna make this one, let's vote in the comments. I'll give you a better view. Here is the river little puddle. We got a lot of marshy land over here. Good work! Woo! One step closer. Good afternoon, we're back on the road again. We've just made it to some crown land because crown land has opened up in our province and it's open to hike, bike, fish, or whatever you do best except for camp. And that's okay because we're just here for the day. The sun is shining today and it's such a treat because it has been pretty cloudy and pretty rainy. So we're gonna bask in the sun and make the best of the day. But before we do that, I'd like to show you our camp spot and show you all of its beauty. So this is the little lake that we're parked on, one of the thousands in Ontario. What are you up to, Jazzy? Filling up the solar shower so we can have a shower and we can save water to do dishes. Nice. Bella thinks I'm playing with her though. Good call. This is our nice pathway to our home. Nice spot. So nice. I'm loving it. It's just nice to be, out, be able to go back in like the woods. Because I honestly think this is like the safest place. And here's our casa. Not a bad spot. Cafe and a late brunch? Yes. We honestly took right off as soon as we saw that We got a digger. You should see all the bugs in front of the camera right I now. I can see them. <laughs> it's so funny. For some reason, they really like the camera. They are out in full force. We're definitely not alone out here with these bugs. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as we found out that Crown Land was open, we honestly put the key in ignition and jetted here. So we're hungry. And before we start brunch, we have some exciting news to share with you all. Izzy turned six this week. Happy birthday, dear Izzy. Happy birthday. So make sure you wish Izzy a happy birthday in the comments as she'll be reading and responding to them all. What's on the menu today? That's what I'm wondering. Taters? Yep. Jazzy's making her famous potato pancakes which involve her... 
grating the potatoes by hand, putting them in a pan, and trying to make them into a giant hash brown, which turns out phenomenally every time. Phenomenally. Yeah. Phenomenally. Phenomenally. So, it's gonna be a good brekkie. Brunch. Needed. <laughs> And while Jazzy cooks breakfast, I'm lying here basking in the sun, looking at the newly, the new, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the, and while Jasmine makes brekkie, I'm basking in the sun here with Bella by my side. And I'm just looking up at the tree and all the new buds that spring has brought. Soon we will have leaves. And then, do you want condiments? Yeah, all our coffees. How's your brekkie, chef? Fabulous. <laughs> and the view is even better. Isn't it? A meal always tastes better outside. Like, look at the view. Stunning. The <laughs> I don't even mind the bugs. We're excited to show you just like a relaxing day at a camp spot because honestly, we always show you like the highlights and go here and go there, but this is the best part about van life is getting to open your front door, side door, whatever door to a beautiful view, make a great meal. Yeah, that's well said. Considering the situation as of lately, we haven't been doing much of this, so it feels really good and really refreshing to be back in nature and have our doors open. I think Bella's enjoying this the most. How's the view, Belle? The person that doesn't cook does the dishes. Yeah, right. You always do them. <laughs> Multi-purpose solar shower to conserve our water. Are they done? Rinsed. Clean as a whistle? Oh, yeah. I lost my balance. Whoa! Are you coming? Come on the log. I have a camera in my hand. Let's go waterproof. You wanna Just doing what the turtles do. Welcome to the Canadian wilderness. I want to see a moose, a bear, and we've already seen a turtle. Who else is playing millions of games in quarantine? We played every game we own. <laughs> Probably 10 times. <laughs> Time for Connect Four. Ooh. <laughs> No. One, two, three, four. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Eat a bug. <laughs> <laughs> 
now that we're all cooled off, we're gonna get these doggies a walk and show you what Crown Land is all about. It's honestly vast up here. Trees, lakes, you name it. And we also wanna try to get away from the bugs. We think if we get some speed, they might leave us alone. Maybe. <laughs> Wishful thinking, as one is hanging out on the lines right now. Here's another lake. With no name. Let's not forget that. That's true. No name lakes. What should we call the lake that we're on? That's what I'm wondering. Blackfly Lake. <laughs> what do you think? What should we name Me or them? Them. Yeah. What do you think? You. I think Black Fly, Black Fly Lake is definitely suitable. Yeah. This is for sure moose territory. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I hope we see one. We, yeah, we could definitely see a moose. And on second thought, maybe we should have brought bear spray, <laughs> just in case. It's a little wild out here. That's why we love Crown Land though, is there's endless amount of hikes. You don't see a single soul. Yeah. It's really just wild out here. I also wanted to add that there is usually never any service on Crown Land. So yeah. You're completely off grid. You That's don't have true. any service. It's really nice to disconnect. Yeah. And it's been a while since we've been actually been off grid. Yeah, like off off grid. Mm -hmm. And we used to always be like this. So it's like, I don't know, I just feel so much more productive out here. Just look at the bugs open. In I know the bugs. I don't even care, honestly. I'm just so happy to be outside. <laughs> the dopamine in me is skyrocketing. Yeah, being outside is the best. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that they opened. They it made up. the decision to open the parks. I think it's really important. Me too. Especially with the nice weather coming, people need to get outside, and this is the perfect way to social distance, if you ask me. Yeah. So, We've seen it feels safe. A turtle and a turkey. Yeah, feels risk free. It's like when we were back in Guatemala and all we saw was sheep. Yeah, I'm <laughs> digging it. It's a good okay. feeling. How nice is this lake? So nice. So calm. Beautiful. for all their cousins splattered on our windshield. Oh, that is savage. It is a little savage, isn't it? <laughs> so itchy. Isn't a fan. Also, look at this one. Wow. Tell them about your one bite before. <laughs> I, I just blow up when I get bitten sometimes. Terrible. She'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> she cuts her spaghetti, let's be honest. Oh man. Good. <laughs> and that wraps up this week's vlog as we have to skedats pretty soon. The sun is going down and we can't camp here, unfortunately. We also didn't tell you where we are exactly. We are not giving you our GPS coordinates. This is somewhere that's off the beaten path that actually took us a long time to find. Many dead ends. And so if you go out there exploring like we did, it took us quite a while to find it. You'll find something as special as we did. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. Let us know if you do find it. Yeah. Right. You got so much sun. I know. I tell. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually way sunnier than I No, it was hot. It was hot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
So what you can expect from vlogs to come is, yes, we are back on the road, exciting times. Yeah. We will be going and showing you all and visiting all that Ontario has to offer as we are, are allowed to make day trips. That's what our government has put in. So as long as that stays, we will be doing that. And with that, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell as well as the pause up. We'll see you next Sunday. See you next Sunday. Ciao. Ciao.